Donnelly River boat ramp, bloody beautiful. G'day guys, Cam Wild Wild Touring. We're down at the Donnelly River boat ramp, which is in the southwest of Western Australia. Closest town's probably Pemberton. Um, this stretch of the river goes the whole way out to the ocean, and we're pretty much gonna follow it the whole way to the river mouth. I'm out with Pete from WA Camping Adventures, and his mate Adam, that I'm no doubt will be my mate by the end of this, um, this trip. We're away for two nights camping out of the tinny. First time I've ever done something like that, so it's been a pretty hectic week packing and um, sort of figuring out what I need for this trip. So first time for me in the in the new Stesco 389 Squire. It's a brand new tinny. It's supposed to live up top on top of the canopy. The canopy's not finished yet. So I've got it on my little folding mangrove jack trailer. Now the boys thought this was pretty funny because it's got like little wheelbarrow sized wheels. Um, it's supposed to be, oh well, obviously it's speed limited to 100k an hour in Western Australia anyway, if you're towing anything. But you're only supposed to do 100k's at a time on that thing as well because the wheels are doing so many revolutions or whatever, the hubs are gonna get quite warm. So this was 450 Ks from home today. So we've made sure that we stopped several times. And I've checked the hubs to make sure they're cool. Give them a little bit of a rest. Um, and then, yeah, we still managed to get down here in good timing. So yeah, first time in this tinny. Um, the other two boys I'm with are experienced Bodhi. So they're gonna give me a few pointers and stuff. That's why we thought we'd come to the Donnelly River just so we can sort of, you know, cut his teeth down here. I, I think it'll be really good. Hey, Petey, can I chat to you for two secs? Yeah, mate. Cheers. So, Pete from WA Camping Adventure. How you going, bro? How are you, mate? Good, Good mate. You. Yeah. So, you've got the Quintrex 375 Dart. The Dart, yep. You've had um, this a while, eh? Yeah, yeah, fair while. Um, it actually started off me and my brother um, went halves in it, but All then right. I've, I've recently just paid him out of it because I've sort of developed a bit, bit of a relationship. I love yep. it. But yeah, it's always been good, man. It's an old motor, but it's, I don't know, it's always done me well. Just don't film me starting it up. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've heard it's smoky, eh? You're going to have defez out here, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh. And you look like you're fully packed. I definitely am, yeah. I don't think we're going to go without. Nah, not at all. I mean, it'll be good to get to the river mouth, offload a fair bit, and then yeah. it feels like a brand new tinny, you know what I mean? All right, so we're doing two nights out here? Yep, two nights. You're the leader, which has been refreshing. Um, yep. I'm just sort Usually of you following are. your uh, Oh, mate, you can't go wrong. Lead. You just can't go wrong. And guys, I can't... I won't be able to see it, but I, I can't wait for the look on his face when he does his next intro out on the water. Mm. Oh, man, I just... I can't... I can't explain the feeling. I, I'll never forget the feeling I had when it's... Oh, you won't. You just won't. <laughs> I can't wait, mate. Oh, I'm excited. Mate. So good. Should be good. And this is Adam's rig. Adam, what do you got, mate? Uh, a little Quintrex Traveller, 37. Yep. So, um, yeah, just a little thing, but it does the job. Very good. A little river basher. So, so my first time meeting you, but you're, you've been mates with Pete for a while? Yeah, a couple of years now. Yeah. yeah. So where have you boys met? Uh, met he's at the, my group camp. His group camp. But we've always just kept in touch since. Okay. I've done that with a, a heap of guys. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, so we yeah. met up then and, yeah, kept in touch and said he's doing a tinny trip, so... I'm here. Cool. <laughs> now you were talking big smack about all the fish you're going to catch. <laughs> yeah. And I'm glad because one of the meals I'm having is I need fish as my main protein. Yeah. And I didn't bring anything because I hear that you're the master. <laughs> so the pressure's on now. <laughs> pressure's on now. Pressure is definitely on. Don't usually fish under pressure, but your pressure's on. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, look, don't stress too much. You've got two or three hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. If you don't catch, we don't eat. <laughs> and I'm on. Keep going. Keep going. That's, no, no, you can't count that. I can't see that. You can't Thanks count for the spotting, <laughs> Pete. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Tell you what, that'll be um, nice with you in it. Like weight wise. You reckon yeah. I should move some oh, of that back? Oh man, that is cold, dude. Oh, for safety say you there's a drop off just down here. That was a bit easier. Alright, see you later now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just let go of the rope, it's done. <laughs> Oh, 
So because we're away from the we're away from the um, cars for a couple of days, this trailer is just too easy to steal. Like it's 38 kilos, someone can just pick it up and walk away with it, you know. So I'll disassemble it. I'll lock it in the car so no one can see it. Um, yeah, mitigating the risk. So it's pretty quick and easy anyway. Than a King's warning, mate. Yeah, <laughs> isn't it, mate? A little bit nerve wracking leaving the cars here for a couple of days, but you don't have much choice. Hopefully, they're here when we get back. But I do feel better knowing the trailer's packed away in the car. Yeah. Oh, the Johnsons are the best. Yeah. You've said it. Better start now. <laughs> so good. Might be a trailer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she'll go. This one, I reckon. Yeah. Hey! Don't call the fire department, it's not on fire, I promise. <laughs> At least it's got oil in it. <laughs> Very cold. <laughs> oh, I couldn't even hear yours over that. <laughs> hey, listen, mate. I'm so nervous on this thing, man. Wait, is your engine even on? Yeah. <laughs> so quiet, eh? You guys set the pace, because I don't know. No, this is it. All right. I'm actually going to stop up there and just rearrange my beers out of it. Yeah. So I'm going to have a beer, I think. I need one. What's happening, Pete? It seems to be, I've actually had this problem for a while. It's like um, where it connects to the brass, like fitting on the on the fuel tank, there's like an air leak. I don't know if you can hear that. All right, so you're not getting fuel yeah, pressure. Yeah, so I'll be able to like squeeze the bulb till it's hard, get a, like a half a K out of it. And then all of a sudden it'll sort of just go Ugh, until it gets a bit more fuel in the system. It's yeah, not okay. a big problem, it just means I can't give it a flogging. Which you wouldn't be. I'm a sensible boy. So, nice spot up here. so this is potential campsite number one. Well, this is just a camp. Oh, geez, it keeps going over here. Someone's made something of this, yeah, though, eh? Like and that's a that's like a step there we've yeah. come up. So do you reckon we can gold drag the camper or anything? Yeah. Nice level ground. Always wanted to get out and check this out, eh? How'd the views be, man? If you got your swag right on the bank here, oh, in the morning, yeah. magic. Someone's driven in here, eh? That's awesome. They're car tracks. Yeah. Alrighty. I'm cruise down a bit of a fish. I might get me drone going further down town. I don't want to overdo it.
This is a secret spot. No, this is just where we sort of had luck with a couple of small ones. All right. Yeah, like thrown into that marsh. Well, I can't see that well in because I'm being there. Yeah, so you can. So we might just film around that champion. <laughs> no, it only goes just to there anyway. Yeah, do you actually fish in there? No. Okay. I have a lot, maybe just in there before that sign was there. Yeah. Then there's another one that's wanted out. Skin. Yeah. Pete was telling me that these shacks here on the bank, you can only get to them by boat. So they've completely built them by um, boating everything in, which is pretty incredible. Would have been an absolute mission bringing all that gear in by boat. Beautiful looking properties. I was thinking that's crazy clear, eh? Yeah. So Pete's mate was saying that the uh, river is broken into the ocean, which is fairly unusual, and uh, it may have resulted in some really, really clear water. Because Pete was saying he's never seen it that clear. I can see the bottom in a couple of meters of water. It's beautiful. And I'll tell you what, it's actually a lot warmer than it's supposed to be. We were thinking there's going to be 20 mil of rain today. So I reckon we might be swimming. Find a good camp, offload some gear, have a bit of a swim. Should be good. <laughs> Happy? Yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be wrong. Yeah. Oh my god. That swell is massive out there, right? Eh? You, you'll 
see in mind, you would spin out to see what this used to look like. Yeah. It looks amazing there, still though. Yeah. But then, honestly, there used to be like a big dune here that's like sort of six metres high. On the other side? No, yeah, just here, like cutting across there. This yeah. used to be a little lagoon. Yeah, gotcha. I kept asking the boys if we could go out into the ocean and do a bit of a lap, but look at that swell now. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Waves come in and beached us both. This rig's like probably 150, 200 kilos at the moment. No! Upside down. I reckon, Adam, I'm thinking fire down here tonight. So I think this is home tonight. This is Pete's little spot. Pretty much at the mouth of the uh, Donnelly River. And I think it's kind of crazy because when we were at the mouth just before on the beach, the wind was absolutely howling. But we've just come around that corner and dipped in here on the shore and there's nothing, like honestly not a breath of air. So this will be perfect. Um, I think we'll probably end up having a fire on the beach and doing some pretty cool camp cooking. But as far as where the swags and stuff will go, I'm not too sure yet. There might be something up here. We'll have a quick look. I think Pete and Adam are just down the beach scouting out down there, seeing if it's any better. Uh, not that flash here. Let's see what they've got. Oh, that looks better. I can see grass. This spot a bit better, Pete? Look at that. Better? Yeah, oh, man. yeah, for sure. Have a look. Oh, yeah, green grass. I feel like I've just pulled up in bloody caravan park, Adam. <laughs> yeah. I'll oh, have a look at that. <laughs> it begs a question, though. What's keeping the grass down? There's got to be a healthy population of roos, eh? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Rabbits? Yep. Oh yeah, it's the high tide mark there, eh? That'd be a nice little backdrop for a cook up there. Definitely. So this green carpet here, this is home tonight for sure. So the boats are about 20 metres up. We better bring them back down. Looks like we've got enough room just to squeeze our three tinnies in here on the beach. Set up gazebo, set up some swags, get the firewood off. I've got a bit of a leak in my tinny. I think it's just the bung, so probably drag it right up the beach and empty the water out and have a look at that should be good i was a little bit stressed about taking the camera gear on this trip um, yeah. with no shelter in the in the tinny i haven't got a bimini or anything like that so i've got a couple of space cases to put all the camera gear in just a little bit of insurance there in case we've got water in the tinny or whatever Actually, on that note, we found that one of my bungs um, is not sealed properly. The bung itself is sealed, but the bung housing is not. So I'm going to have to drill out the rivets and re-silicon it. Probably took on about 10 litres of water by the time we got up here. Half a day on the water. 
So um, I'll keep an eye on that over the weekend. Might have to drag it right up onto the shore like it is now and empty it a couple of times. But it'll get us, it'll get me back to the car, back to the boat ramp, so it's no big drama. Right, oh, so this is camp, we're all set up. Adam, Pete, and I have all got our swag set up. I bought my busted old 10 year old uh, gazebo just in case we get some rain. It was forecasted for some bad weather, but touch wood, it's looking pretty good at the moment. Um, but even if we do get it, there's enough shelter there under the old gazebo. And between me and the boys, we got like five bags of wood, so. Um, we'll have a good fire. Uh, we'll do some camp cooking and it should all be good. But I think for now, we're going to have a drink. We're going to have something to eat. Uh, we'll probably bomb out and do a bit of a fish to Savo, just one last chance to get some more fish for dinner. But even if we don't, we're pretty sorted. There's two in the esky at the moment and that's enough. We've got um, fish tacos for dinner tonight. Otherwise, once we've had a bit of a flick, we'll come back here, we'll watch the sunset. I'll probably get the drone up, get that fire lit and get set into dinner, I reckon. Cook on the fire, should be good. It's a meal that's been cooked by a chef, and then it's just freeze dried, that's it. So, I'm gonna have a crack at it, and I'll tell you exactly what I think. Oh, mate. Not a bad haul in the end, though. Yeah, that's a yeah, stonk. Man. That Un one there, that's a stonk. Yeah, it's massive. Lucky that one doesn't have its head on it. Otherwise, that would have <laughs> curled off the That would have been the biggest. <laughs> that would have curled off the table, mate. And unfortunately, I can't take credit for any of those. I only caught two the whole time, and they're both undersized. So four of these are Adam's, and the headless one's Pete's. Pete got the first one. Should have seen the size of his head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was all head, wasn't he? <laughs> Fish, yeah. Isn't that what they call it? Yeah, it's a fancy name. What a cracking afternoon. Just gonna let that fire burn down for a little bit and then we'll um, get into dinner. I'm gonna do fish tacos. So use those brim that we caught this afternoon. When I say we, I mean Adam and Pete. <laughs> I didn't catch any of them, unfortunately. But um, I'll crumb them, crumb them up in panko, and I've got some nice little condiments to go into some tacos. Should be good. But I'll cook that on the fire, so I need some coals. So I'll let this burn down a bit longer. Yeah. Oh, big wave. Swamped him. No, I think you saved it. You're surfing it in. Gazebo about a hundred meters over there. <laughs> We're all saturated, and there's waves in the river. 